So you did something that that other governors could not do, get a tax relief bill signed into law. Do you think the majority of people here in Massachusetts will feel the impact of it? They will, and they this will. is really important. You're right, Ed. I mean, it's been 20 years, more than 20 years, since we've had tax cuts in this state, and we were able to do it. I'm proud of that. And it's important because it's about making life more affordable for people in the state, putting money back in people's pockets. We did that for seniors. We did that for students. We did that for renters. We did that for low and middle income families. We also did it because we needed to as a matter of competitive advantage vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis other states. It's why we cut short-term capital gains, why we cut the estate tax, why we have other credits and programs for small businesses. It's also why we did things through the tax bill that are gonna help create more housing. I mentioned this earlier, but we need housing. And so now through the tax cut, there are credits and incentives for developers to help us supercharge housing production in the state. Do you think it's made the state competitive enough to keep people from leaving? Well, I hope so, and, and you know, it's something I have my eye on. I wanna remind people though, Sherman, we're a great state, you know, we're a state where steady leadership, calm, um, good things are happening, okay? We gotta work on the affordability issue, mm -hmm. and that's what the tax package does, that's what my housing bond bill will do. But we're a state where you have access to health care. your rights are protected, you know, you know, we care about the, whether you have clean air, clean water, there's a lot of good things happening. There's a lot of venture capital money in, too. I mean, one of the things I've really leaned into are the, the, the economic engines that we have in our state, whether it's life sciences or AI and robotics, or, you know, my favorite topic right now, climate tech. You know, we are situated to be uh, the hub of climate tech innovation worldwide. And, you know, I've been meeting this week in particular with so many companies that are opening up and starting uh, operations right here here in the greater Boston, greater Cambridge area because they know that we have the horses, you know, when it comes to, to, to the innovation, the entrepreneurship, the VC funding mm -hmm. to really power us forward. So we've got work to do, but I like our trajectory. Yeah, but you know, you know the name that, that floats around the whole country still, Taxachusetts. How can, can you erase that or what? It's just wrong, you know, it's just it's just wrong. And when I talk to business leaders, you know, so much of, of what they're focused on right now is housing, right? The need to, to have lower housing costs because you want to be able to right. recruit and right. retain talent. But it actually is a good business environment, you know, for any number of reasons, including the ones that I just mentioned. And, you know, I'm, I'm big on Team Massachusetts. I'm big on powering and supporting our businesses and, and growth opportunities. I think we can do great things here in this state. There's more to come on that, but getting that tax package important, making life more affordable for families, putting money back in people's pockets. That's what we were able to do. Governor, thank you for your time. It's great to Thanks have you with us. Here.